I wanted to show you a little tip. Um, we're gonna freeze some corn because I like to taste that all winter long. So what I do is blanch my corn. Do you blanch it before yep. you freeze it? Yep. Yeah, so here, have you ever done it this way? No. Look, the bunt pan, this is our bunt pan that we sell at Macy's, and you just hold it here, put the um, ear of the tip, or the, or the um, stem end, and just cut down right next to the cob. It falls into the bunt pan instead of all over the floor. It is the best. This is such a great tip. Nikki showed me this yesterday. Don't you think this is fantastic? Uh-oh, you're just going on the counter. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I'm losing it. <laughs> So if you go slowly enough, and it pretty much falls all into the bun pan. Now, um, so I just, I just love this um, method. How are you doing? Works now, good. Now, do you, do you preserve any of your corn for yep. the winter? Yep. Yeah. And, and how do you do it? Pretty much like this. Oh, okay. We take it off the cob and then freeze yeah. it. Do you have one of those gadgets for uh, taking the kernels off? Yes. That old-fashioned gadget? No, that new one from Williams-Sonoma. Oh, the new one. Yeah, oh, it works oh. real good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there we have all this corn. This can be put right into a Ziploc baggie, and then if you have one of those air extractors, it's really good, and you just suck Use out all the air. a straw on that, too. You could do a straw, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yep, old-fashioned, fourth yeah. generation, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and freeze it, and you have it for the entire winter. It's really great. Now, what about tomatoes? Do you grow we'll tomatoes grow, too? Yeah. Okay, so tough you, time with those though. So do you ever freeze your tomatoes? No. Yeah, this year was horrible, wasn't it? Yep. I lost my entire tomato crop, about a hundred plants in the hurricane. Yeah. They all fell down, completely. Had the water. Just... And all my corn got blown down too. I was right in the eye of the hurricane, so I didn't get. I have no corn. That's why I'm coming over to you to, <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. You have more through this weekend? Yep. Oh good, I'm coming over. Here shows. Look at this, for tomatoes. Who freezes their tomatoes raw? Raw, yes. Okay. So I think one of the secrets is to take the core, the uh, stem end out, the core of the tomato, with the point of a sharp knife. Just cut around this way. This helps the tomato freeze faster, and you get rid of that uh, stem end, which is not attractive, and you don't want that in your sauce anyway. Just like that. Put that too in a Ziploc baggie. Extract the air. Put in your freezer, and just leave them there. 45 minutes before wanting to use them, take them out, just like this, and look, peel this one. This has been out of the freezer for 45 minutes. Just take the skin, it comes right off. None of that blanching and peeling, isn't that nice? Yeah. Look how easily it just comes right off, like magic. Nikki, thank you. She just Hi. showed me this yesterday. I couldn't believe how fabulous it is. So your skin comes off, because I'm always blanching and, oh gosh, going through that whole thing. Doesn't burn Ice your water, either. doesn't burn your fingers. <laughs> yep, see, this is very neat. And then, for your sauce, rather than, um, you, know, you can use a food processor if you want, but watch this. It's still frozen hard enough inside so that you can just grate it into the bowl. <laughs> That's another fantastic thing. Now this is if you don't mind having some seeds, because um, you, will, you will have um, seeds. See, you have a grater right there. You can try it, just if you want to see how it works. One more piece of skin over here. Nice, huh? Yeah, that's real, slick. Real easy, yeah, very slick. <laughs> very slick. Well, we taught a fourth generation farmer something new today. I always like doing that. So it's beautiful. And uh, all of this is gonna go right into an, a very quick tomato sauce. Looking good? Let me get a towel. And uh, we have some onions, uh-oh. Uh cooking a little fast here. Onions in olive oil. And we're just gonna add our grated tomato. Now it looks a little, little light colored, but it's really a red tomato. And cook that over low flame very low flame, um, until it looks like this. And you have a very nice tomato sauce. And you can put a little butter in here. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter to my um, tomato onion mix, and a um, little bit of red pepper flakes. Come on over here, Steve. Sorry. A little salt, a you little pepper. You yellow ones? Oh, you can use yellow, you can use red. Uh, you can mix all your tomatoes together. I mean, it just depends on what you have. But this is a very rich, lovely, simple sauce. And uh, then this gets spooned right over. We've cooked up some spaghetti squash. Do you like that? Oh, yeah. And, uh, 
And this is wonderful ricotta cheese on hot spaghetti squash. It kind of melts into the spaghetti squash. This is one of my favorite things in the whole world. And um, there, so one's for you and one's for me. And some of this lovely tomato sauce right over the top. And that's a really <laughs> healthy meal. Again, vegetarian, um, very, very nutritious, very good for you. It's, it's amazing. I think th this is the way that many of us are cooking these days. Oops. Mm. Here, taste. Thank mm. you. Oh, that tomato sauce is so good.